Once it starts to get warmer, restaurants in Paris will open up their terraces and change their menu a bit to include more seasonal dishes. So in this video, we're going to go to four new restaurants we haven't been to before to try what's on their menu for the spring season. We'll try a chèvre chaud salad in Saint-Germain, a boudinoir near Gare l'Est, and finally, eat a souffle near Le Louvre. Allez, on y va, let's go. Today we're in one of our favorite neighborhoods in Saint-Germain and we're going to go grab a bite right over here in Le Prince Racine. Let's go. Oh, that's so nice. I love a Pinot Noir because it's a very simple wine, easy to drink, goes with everything. And my wife likes it too, so she drinks the other half. This place is charming and Antoine's wine is good. The six oh yeah, get me. Oh, it's from Belle. Merci. This is an amazing spring summer dish, like a you know, steak. This is a skirt steak with a little bit of salad with French fries and a little uh, poivre sauce on the side. This is perfect. That for me is Paris. Oh. Why would you put ketchup on French fries is beyond me when you have pepper sauce. This is goat cheese on toast with mixed greens, caramelized walnuts, and crispy, crunchy apples. That's an amazing combination. And you don't always get apples on your goat cheese salad, but they go really nice in there and delicious. The hot goat cheese salad is kind of a staple. I remember the first time Antoine got it, he was like, oh, I miss that. And uh, I've been eating it ever since. It's pretty tasty. That's yummy. So this is a uh, special of the day. It's a skirt steak. Apparently it's beef from Ireland. It's served with a uh, small salad with vinaigrette and french fries. Mm. This is excellent. A great french fries, thick cut. I like that. With a little bit of sauce. I love these little restaurants around Paris. They're in back streets that not a lot of people know about, but this is a great find. This is a gem. And they open all of these in the, in the summer, like uh, around May. So if you come here during May and June, all these windows are gonna be open. It's gonna be nice to have a little terrace in the back. It was a great address. I'm gonna be back here. Mm. Oh, watch this done with a Pinot Noir. Man, he didn't drink half of it. Drink almost all of it. It's perfect. Pinot Noir in this, and I'm happy, man. This is so awesome. But before I eat my salad, I want to mop up all the sauce with French bread. That's hitting the spot in more ways than one. That looks like a good salad. You can get a steak free pepper sauce, steak au poivre, all year round. This is kind of a thing that we'll eat more in the spring, summertime than in the winter. In the winter, you want a, uh, like a bourguignon, something thick with the sauce and everything. This is perfect, great meal. Steak free, a little salad, a glass of red wine, a little bit of French bread to dip your, uh, your sauce with. It's an amazing uh, dish. And Colleen with uh, the goat cheese salad. That's why I would call the quintessential spring summer lunch in Paris. I'm gonna be back here. The food is great, the location is amazing. The setting is perfect. What else do you need? Today we're gonna to go try a place I've been dying to try for a while. Just around the corner from Place Vendôme, right by the Tuileries, and we're headed towards the Place de la Concorde. Let's go see what they serve at Le Soufflé. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a fresh cheese souffle. That's like biting into air that's flavored sort of like cheese in an omelet. It's like fluffy air. It's like whipped cream, cheese, and egg. That is good stuff. You gotta try this. Oh, yeah. The flavor of the Swiss cheese is really strong. 
I haven't had a souffle in ages, and this is, well, this is the best place in Paris to get souffle. Because that's all they do. And the onion soup. Ooh, let me get some juice out of here first. They had to cook that thing forever. Antoine taught me the onion soup is what you're supposed to have at the end of a party at late at night, where they cook the onions all day long. Those onions have been boiling forever. What kind of bread is in here? Oh my goodness, look at that. I, you know, I've, I always loved the onion soup as Jacobin, but this one is pretty darn good too. Not all onion soup is created equal. This. Mm. Oh yeah, the flavor of the tomato is just wow. When they put like some uh, tomato sauce inside of it. Oh, this is delightful. What a great dish. It's actually very light. Tomato, the basil. Oh, the flavor is just overpowering in your mouth. What's interesting for me is I was expecting the souffle to be a lot heavier. It's actually very light. This is really good. The first one with the cheese was kind of like air with omelet and cheese inside. This one is a little bit more like custard with air and cheese and, and spinach and things inside. This spinach is in season. This spring and summertime. You can see it's like a little bit wet. So it's like a creamy spinach, custardy. This is definitely a neat with both your spoon and your fork kind of a place, cause, oh yeah. The creamy part from the inside without the eggy part on top. It just looks like cream spinach, but like, man, it's so much better. Mm. And this one has a lot of fresh garlic in there. That's that white stuff is a, is a white fresh garlic sauce. I love that Antoine gets to always get my second pick, so I get everything I want. Thank you, darling. Oh, yeah. Check that out. Mm. Mm. I don't know which one I like better. Today we're gonna go and eat at Bouillon Chartier, which is right across from Gare de l'Est. It's one of those institutions in Paris that serves all the classics, and we're gonna see if they stack up to what we've heard about it. Allez, on y va. Bouillon Chartier at Gare de l'Est is celebrating their first year anniversary right in this location. And what I just got from the waiter is that this is their third restaurant. They have one in Montparnasse, the one in Grand Boulevard, and this one. The one in Grand Boulevard is always super busy. Like if you get there at 12.15, you just gotta wait in line. And that's not the case here. So if you wanna have the experience of Bouillon Chartier, you come to this one and you won't have to wait outside. But it's just not nearly as busy as the other place. And you have the exact same ambiance, the exact same setting and the exact same menu. I mean, everything is identical. Same waiter, I suspect he's gonna write the stuff on the table, so. Alors, Bonjour, monsieur. Alors, on va partager avocat sauce crevette et euh, on va prendre un boudin noir aux deux pommes et un poulet fermier. Pour madame, elle va prendre euh, une badoie et moi je prends un verre de vin rouge, voilà, merlot parfait. Merci bien. Super, merci. Merci, merci. Oh, this is cool because the, the wine is actually uh, refrigerated. So it's cold wine, it's basically house wine. It's really fresh, so in the spring and summer, where it's a little bit warm outside, you want to have a glass of wine. Yeah, it's chilled. It's not amazing wine, but you're not coming to Chartier for their wine list. So this is avocat sauce crevette. So it's basically a little sauce with shrimps and um, served over an avocado. And this is, you know, one of those typical French appetizer that you'll find mostly in basic restaurants, but it's actually very nice. Oh, it's delightful. It's a mayonnaise flavor with tomato, with a little pieces of shrimp in there served inside of avocado. It's just really nice. It's one of my favorite things at Chartier. It's light, it's fresh, and delicious. Cheers, darling. The poulet for mademoiselle. Et le boulot non, bah, je vous laisse deviner. Merci. 
All right, so this is a boudinois, and this is an acquired taste. This is the equivalent of basically what the British call pudding. It's a blood sausage, basically. And in France, it's served with a little bit of a sauce with the mashed potato. It's not something you chew, it just melts in your mouth. It's not a very strong taste, but it's the fine taste, like boudinois tastes like boudinois. And it's always served with mashed potato. It's just really good. Rinse it with a glass of chilled red wine. That's really good. So in France, the uh, boudinois is served with, usually with mashed potato, but oftentimes with an apple, which is the proper way to do it. And it's a cooked apple. Look at that. A cooked apple with a little bit of boudinois. Yeah, it's very surprising. Uh, the sweetness of the apple with the boudinois is really good. Most people coming to France think about the steak free, but the chicken with fries is really good too. But one of the funny things about chicken in France, I'm trying to get into the joint over here to separate it, and the joints are a lot more connected. They don't fall apart easy. This is not a Costco chicken, which I love, but this is a, definitely a farm-raised chicken, and you can taste the difference. Today we're in the middle of Le Marais between the Hotel de Ville, the Centre Pompidou and the archives. And we're gonna go check out this place over here, Le Bouquet des Archives, and see what they have. Cause I've heard they have amazing croque monsieur and different light fared things for the spring and summertime. Let's go. So this is a ham shank, Jean Bonneau grillé au miel, which is a honey uh, lamb chank with rice and ratatouille. And they have a truffle omelet with french fries. They have and a uh, camembert burger. Well, we're gonna do the, the spring summer thing, so we're gonna have an omelet and a, I'm gonna have the classic croque madame. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Oh. Yeah. Merci. to start with a french fry. Oh, I love fries. But the omelet is one of the light things that people eat, and this one's coming with truffles. They have other flavors of omelets here, but I'm a truffle fan too. It's not just truffle oil, again, there's actual truffles in there, which is a really important distinction. Truffle infused eggs or something, it's really nice. And what's interesting is when we ordered, she asked, do you want it runny or, or well done? You know, like I'm used to that with meat, but I never had anybody ask me if I wanted runny or solid eggs before. She said bavuz, which means drooling. So I didn't want the drooling eggs. I got mine well done. I love that they give you a little a jar of mayonnaise here with your french fries. That's a typical Northern European thing with French fries, mayonnaise. I got the croque madame, which is basically a croque monsieur with an egg on top. And I haven't had a croque madame in ages. So you can see there's an egg and underneath is the croque monsieur. This is gonna be awesome. I haven't had a croque madame in ages. So think ham and cheese sandwich, a grilled cheese sandwich basically with ham. It's got a little bit of bechamel, which is a cream sauce. They put an egg on top of it, served with french fries, a little bit of salad and some mayo. Look at that. It's not super light. Just having a salad would be a very light lunch, but you know, it's not a bœuf bourguignon. It's not an onion soup. It's not those big things that are, you know, really stuffing. 